Yeah, yeah. Justice Celine Lachette Lamontagne opened the inquiry by stating its terms of reference. After cameras left the makeshift courtroom, she noted this was not a criminal or civil trial. The game is not to find criminal responsibility, but to find the truth. In 1969, a Trois-Rivières detective sergeant, Louis-Georges Dupont, died suspiciously. He knew about a prostitution ring that police chose to ignore. Dupont later testified at an inquiry into police corruption. After a few weeks' vacation, he left for work and disappeared. His body was found five days later, slumped over the steering wheel of an unmarked police car. Following an investigation by the very police he had accused of corruption, his death was ruled a suicide, even though no fingerprints were ever found on the detective's gun. His family never accepted that Dupont killed himself because a death was ruled a suicide. His widow never received the pension. His widow lost her home. In a separate action, the Dupont family is seeking $300,000 in damages and a widow's pension for the policeman's spouse. Last December, after years of pressure, a Superior Court judge reviewed evidence. He concluded Dupont was probably murdered, and that led to this commission. The city of Trois-Rivières and the Dupont family will have lawyers questioning and cross-examining 30 witnesses. But a volatile issue arose this morning, even before witnesses were called. The Dupont family wants the commission to pay their lawyers' fees, but the government decree creating the commission doesn't cover that. Justice Lamontagne agreed to deliberate on the matter. Still, family members were furious. There will be a, a recess now until June 7th, and it's expected to take until the end of the summer, and the, uh, the judge has been ordered to uh, issue a report by September 30th. Joe Singerman, Post News, Trois-Rivières.